Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 66 of Direwolf20's Enigmatic of 2 Expert Mode series, where we are exploring space, 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 space. Uh, I made myself another refueling station, uh, because I'm not 100% sure how this works. Um, so we launched our rocket, right? All the way up into space, which was good times, right? We've got a rocket. Rocket ship! Awesome. Right? right now, the destination uh, will be Earth. However, I can change that up with the guidance computer. I bet if I took this out, I could change it up. I think that's what we need to do. We want to warp to another planet, and then we want to put a planet ID chip in here in the guidance computer. And then we can uh, go to whatever planet or moons we warp to, and then get back to the space station. I think that's how it works. I think um my only problem now is fuel though like can i refuel this thing while it's an entity that i'm not 100 percent sure about um so like how does that work does this have like a front of some kind or like so like it needs power i know that much i got some fuel from uh my base over there uh but i just have no idea how the fueling station will work. Can I click you with this thing to fill her up? Also, I can't get this fuel, whatever mod this fuel is from, in a bucket, which is weird. I keep trying to bucket it and it don't work. Uh, so something's a little bit funny with fuel right now and the whole or dictionary of fuel and whatnot. It's possible that what happened is because he flipped it so that you need to make fuel the complicated way, it's a different type of fuel you get from that process. So another part of me wants to like kind of test that out a little bit and see what's up. Now, can I can I do something like like this? Or this? Hey, there we go. Whoa, hello. Nobody panicked, but that seemed that seemed to work. Hello. Neat. Took all my fuel. But it took it nonetheless. So that's one way to refuel a rocket, I guess. That that could work. We could fill it up the reservoir and just do it manually. That doesn't seem too bad. So that might be what we wind up doing. Um, the problem, I guess, is that we need fuel. <laughs> um, we need we need rocket fuel. Um, probably more than we currently have. If we're going to be going to a bunch of different planets, right? So rocket fuel, uh, I I. Th I think Ender IO rocket fuel works, and that is gunpowder and redstone in the vat, um, and that's water and either sugar and some kind of plant-based resource. Do potatoes count? Because I got those cooking. Yeah, they do. Booyah. And you know what? Apples. Apples seem to be a really good thing to use in there, didn't they? Didn't apples seem good? Apples seemed pretty good, and we should have a lot of them. Uh, so we want the vat. Can we get a vat from Ender.io? Like, how impossible does that look? It needs fluid tanks, it needs a fractioning still from thermal, and it needs electrical steel and cauldrons. That doesn't look too bad. Fractioning still needs nickel gear and Constantin gear. Did we figure out Constantin yet? Hey, hey, look at that. We already have gears for it. Nice. Good job, past direwolf. I'm proud of you. Actually, I want two sets of that, right? Because we're going to want two vats. Uh, and I believe that this rocket fuel is ore dictionaried with the other rocket fuel. So I think this will work for fueling our rockets. I hope. I hope. So we're going to get a vat, right? And that needs two of these. So we need a redstone reception coil and two machine frames, right? And what else do we need for a fractioning still? Just some glass. Hey, all right. Ooh. Now we just need to wait for the other uh, machine frames to cook up. That's not terrible, right? And then you can be used to make this. So we're going to want um, four fluid tanks, right? Uh, and we're also going to want a couple cauldrons. So we're gonna want iron plates aplenty. Four cauldrons total, right? So actually we need more than that. And 
Okay, so another fractioning still. And I want to figure out how we're going to do this. But my suspicion is I'm probably going to want to use Ender Tanks. Um, so my plan, then, will be exactly what I just said. Right, just what I said. Use Ender Tanks. That sounds like a good idea. We'll get Ender Tanks, we'll set them up with fuel, and then what we'll do is we will have the fuel um, created here on Earth, and then Ender Tanked up to the space station. Sounds like a cool plan? I hope so, because that's uh, pretty much what we're doing. Okay. So are you cool then? That. Nice. Two vats. Booyah. That looks awesome. All right. So let's set up in our basement somewhere nice and out of the way. Uh, ideally near an existing water source. Uh, and ideally... How about like right here? Does this work? Right here. No reason to like overthink it, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think it needs to be overthought. Um, we can do something super simple, which is just you two, right? Uh, we need capacitors, and I'll just put two basics in there. I don't, I don't think we need it to be super complicated, right? Uh, we'll configure you to push, and we'll configure you to pull from there, right? Um, and then we want some conduiting. So pressurized fluid, do I have some of these already? I do. So let's get the water bit going, I think. So water is gonna go in here, right? And if I whack that dude appropriately, he should start hooking up water. Sweet. All oh, right, I have a jetpack now, don't I? Haha, -ha, I almost forgot I had a jetpack. Uh, do I have any apples handy? I have a bit. Right, and sugar. So we're only keeping a stack of sugar at a time. I think. I think I want to store a little bit more sugar than that. What do we have for drawer upgrades? Could I put a diamond drawer upgrade on you? I'm pretty sure what will happen is if I put a diamond drawer upgrade with this one, it'll be eight stacks limit. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think that's spiffy. Do you know how to make sugar, by the way? You do not. That's something you're going to have to learn, Chief. Ah, uh, cool. So you go in here. And that should, once we get our capacitors, which we may want better capacitors. We're going to see how fast this process runs. Um, that may or may not produce what we want to produce, but we'll find out. And then finally, you and you. Huzzah! Well, that's actually pretty quick. I don't know that we need a better capacitor than that. Right? That ain't bad at all. Right? And then it's gunpowder and redstone, right? Which we should have plenty of both. So that should not be a problem either. That's actually quite quick to produce rocket fuel. Nice. All right. And then in theory, that rocket fuel should be a sufficient amount, right? So you, what do we need for you? A couple cauldrons and we're good? Is that really it? Beautiful. Uh, and rocket fuel is the color orange, right? Am I going to get one or two of those? You shouldn't be... Yeah, there we go. That'll work. So what I'm going to do... Is we'll do orange, white, white. And that's going to be a rocket fuel color. Right? And that should start filling up. That, that seems almost too easy. Doesn't that seem almost too easy? Rocket fuel! Dude, that's pretty good. Right? That ain't bad. Uh, we just need to export busing of, of apples. Um, which we can get a copious amount of from our tree farm that we have over there, right? That should not be a problem. I'm just going to dump a few stacks. I don't want to run cabling all the way over here. 
Really, is that all we got? I would have expected more apples than that. Well, if we need to at some point, we can change it to something different, right? That shouldn't be a problem. Um, because we do have like a healthy amount of other things, like potatoes. I could tap into our potatoes. Do I have conduiting up here? I do, but you don't have a channel. I'd need to P to P you, which I can do. Uh, I have these. So this guy's using four channels at the moment. Can I, can I snake that thing around and somehow tap into this dude? I don't see why not. Let's do that. Let's 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 make potatoes available to the system real quick. Um, so what we're going to want is a storage bus and some cabling. And let's get the conduit version of cabling as well, just in case. Um, so you're gonna go here, right? And we'll just kind of loop around behind here so that the wiring is not too terrible and it's all behind the walls. At least that's the hope. Okay, so in theory, I should have potatoes available to me now. 9,157 potatoes, booyah. Okay, and then we can, uh, let's get two export buses. Uh, and we're totally gonna need a crafting card. And I'm gonna put away this uh, decorative stuff for a minute. Okay, you're cooking up logic processors for me. Cool, that should be a quick thing. Thank you, one crafting card, because we have to craft sugar. Uh, we need to teach it how to make sugar. So you, sir, now know how to make sugar. And we should be able to sneak back here. And you need sugar and potatoes. Sugar, potato. Oh, that's right, you need a capacity card, don't you? I'm gonna need two of them. I'm also, while I'm here, let's get some redstone and gunpowder. Okay, so one capacity card for you and a potato. You're gonna get capacity card. You don't have to craft redstone and gunpowder, so we don't need a crafting card in there. But this one does need a crafting card because he needs sugar, right? Um, and then with that, we just have to tap into uh, the existing conduiting which is probably easier said than done. I might, let's, let's change this up, right? We're gonna do it on the back. So you will get crafting this sugar potato. You will get this redstone gunpowder. Uh, you'll get that and that. And then we can run you down to somewhere where like that. That should be cool. Okay, so you should be working now in theory. These guys, we have two channels in use. Are you going to export though? Do I have to specify that the back is the input? I'm never too sure about that. Oh look, it looks like it's working. Yeah, I don't think you have to specify the back as the output. What I might want is a little bit of acceleration. I shouldn't really need it to be fair. So you going buddy? You're doing the sugar first is the problem. Oh, and hey look, there we go, potatoes are going in, sweet. All right, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Nice. And then we can cover everything up. 
Make it look fancy again. Booyah! Infinite rocket fuel. Until I run out of gunpowder, which will eventually happen, because that I don't have on unlimited creation. But, uh, we do have lots and lots of gunpowder somewhere nearby. We have 64 stacks of gunpowder. Cool. Now, I don't think this... Oh, it does reach. Sweet. There we go. Now we have gunpowder for days. <laughs> uh, and this will go back to making more for me. Nice. Hey, we even have some enderpearls. I'll take those. Can never have too many enderpearls. All right. To home, James. So there's gunpowder sorted out. Or, 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 or um, rocket fuel. And I'm relatively certain that this rocket fuel is ore dictionary so that it'll work. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> I don't know if there's a good way to test it right now. Right? I don't, I don't know that there's a great way to test it right now. But I should have no problem. Can I get the rocket fuel out of here, you think? I think the best thing I could do would be to launch it back to Earth, then bring it back to the space station, um, and uh, see if it works. And maybe even... Mm, maybe even replace what we've got back at Earth. Yeah, let's launch back to Earth for a minute with this rocket. Does that sound cool? Yeah, we're going to go back to Earth for a minute here. Um, and then I'm going to try to unbuild the rocket and rebuild it. Hopefully that'll empty out the fuel tank. And then what I'm going to do is um, refuel it using the new rocket fuel just to confirm everything's good. And once that's cool, we can start looking at doing the whole let's go to a different planet thing. Cool? So I'll meet you guys back on Earth in a minute. All right, so we're going to pop this dude here. Um, we're going to get our pressurized fluid dudes here. And you on the east will be extract. And on the up will be insert. And I broke and replaced this, so it's a new type of rocket fuel. You, uh, I'd like you to disassemble. So, boom. Now that's blocks again, right? Now... The question therein is, so what I'm going to do actually is remove this for a sec. So you've got five buckets of rocket fuel, but you're not getting any more. So if I scan and reassemble you, did that void out the liquid fuel that was in there? And will it create more? By the way, when he landed, this thing automatically refueled him from before. So like the, the rocket fuel that was there before. So hopefully uh, the scan and build will reset and refuel the rocket. I think that would be cool. So we've got fuel. Maybe you have to be linked to that. Hey, look, we're getting fuel. Nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. And you are using the fuel to fuel the rocket. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, pressurized fluid conduit here. You can go back to piping. So east extract up insert. You're being refilled with rocket fuel, and you now have fuel courtesy of Destination Station 1. Perfect. So now the new rocket fuel that we're producing is what's inside the fuel tanks of this rocket. And I'm going to launch them back up to the space station. So I'll see you guys back up there. Booyah. And then we can refuel it with the reservoir on the space station whenever we want. How cool is that? I'm going to put you away because I don't need you at the moment. Everything else is good to go. See you guys in space. All right, on the space station we are, right? So let's emulate what's gonna happen, right? I'm on the space station, my rocket's got fuel in it, I'm ready to go back and forth between planets, right? And then I wanna refuel the rocket, so I just do this, and check this out, right? If I'm up here on the rocket, see how the fuel is low? I just give it a good old right click with my reservoir, and booyah, we are cool. Now just out of curiosity, of course I don't have a bucket on me. Let's get a bucket. I'm just curious if this rocket fuel uh, can be picked up in buckets. Because the other one can't. Yay, it can. Huzzah! How cool is that? All right. 
So now we can store that in buckets and that's even better. Nice. All right, so our next task, we need a warp drive, right? If we're taking a look at quests um, and we're talking about advanced rocketry, right? So we've completed the space station, that's cool. I noticed since the new version of the pack, you have to like back out of the quest and go in for the claim button to light up. Not the end of the world, but definitely a nuisance. Again, with the, I have to click and choose which of the three random loot chests I get. Dev Null. That would have been nice to have like at some point in the past. That's weird. What are you? Oh, you're the open blocks Dev Null. Got it. Uh, launch pads. Hey, more of them. Uh, sure, why not? And uh, Pam's Fish and Chips. Mmm, delicious. Have I eaten those before? Not eaten yet. What's it taste like? Um, nom, nom, nom. And this one hasn't been eaten yet either for that point. Uh, cool. So with everything taken care of now, right, we're good to go. I don't think I need my space station to shamble anymore. I don't need that extra rocket fuel or anymore. Um, let's look at what's involved in getting a warp drive, right? So what we need to do is install a warp drive, this guy. Uh, do we need an astro body processor? Eh, oxygen vent. Eh, it wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Wouldn't be bad to like get that space station at least somewhat reasonable, better than like just a nine by nine platform or whatever it is at the moment. Uh, a gravity controller might be kind of cool to set up, right? Gravity controllers are neat. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. All about gravity control. Um, and then we need the warp core, right? And the warp core multi-block in your space station while you have to travel other planets and solar systems. It uses dilithium crystals as fuel. So we need a warp core, we need titanium and gold, we need some structure and we need some... So we need a lot of titanium blocks, but what's the warp core itself look like recipe-wise, right? I'm almost afraid to look, right? Almost afraid to look. But here goes nothing. Uh, that's actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. So we need uh, four titanium plates and an advanced circuit, right? Two ti four titanium plates. So we can do that. Now, do we have enough titanium for the 15 titanium blocks? That is the question. I'm gonna say yes. Thanks to our harvesting of the moon. Nice. Uh, and then we need two blocks of gold. And wow, that wasn't bad at all. Right? Um, and we need the warp core. So we are good to go with the warp core bit. I think at this point it's just like, let's make the space station look a little bit better. Part of me wouldn't mind, and here's the question, how expensive is this gonna be? Um, wouldn't mind the remote AE stuff. I wouldn't mind having access to my AE system while I'm on the station, but we know, we know uh, what's involved in that, right? Don't we need like a 64K storage component? I'm pretty sure we're going to need one of them, um, which doesn't look too bad, you know, resources wise. Uh, quest complete work core, yay! And then we're also going to need, uh, from Applied Energistics, we, we need to get the Quantum Singularities, right? Look at my power uh, going out on me like that, right? So we need a matter condenser. Uh, why is the power staying off at this point? Why do we have no energy at all? What is happening? Boop, 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 boop. What is happening here? Explain. You're dumping excess oxygen, right? So you're cool, you're cool. You have water, but are you not running? What happened to my power? What is happening here? This has been running perfectly for like days and days and days and days. What's up? You're dumping excess oxygen, right? Which is you. We're out of hydrogen, but it makes no sense because we're not voiding hydrogen. So that shouldn't be possible. Uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen. So if this side is the oxygen, this side's hydrogen, right? Uh, let's 
Let's let's let's let's do something a little bit more clever. Hang on a minute. Uh, super confused as to how this happens, right? But ultimately, I want to make sure that this room, which is powered how exactly? You come off this line, and this whole room is powered here. So let's remove this connection, and let's remove. that connection. Uh, and that connection. Right, so basically now what's coming out of the cell should be dedicated to just this room and whatever was there, right? So hopefully I remember to hook everything back up once I figure out what the heck just happened to my... Like we're dead in the water, right, with power? That is super weird. So that's a little bit... Maybe enough hydrogen to get us going again? So you guys should be at least running, right? So what in the world happened here? So you are producing hydrogen. Literally everything shut down and I don't know why. That is super weird. Look, it's all working now, right? Like, we, we don't have a backlog of power yet in this room, but we're going to get there, right? Because you have energy and speed upgrades, right? You're idle. Nothing else is really running in here. I mean, you're doing a lot of work to produce more ethylene. Huh. All right, uh, let me come back in a minute once this just settles down, and I'm going to do some troubleshooting and figure out what might have happened. This is a void drawer, so it's not stuck on that, right? We literally just stopped producing hydrogen for some reason in this separator. Right? Yeah, see, we're backstuffing hydrogen here. Oxygen voids the excess hydrogen, but... Or, or excess oxygen. But yeah, see, it's not even running the separator anymore. Huh. All right, back in a minute. All right, back... To the space station. Dun 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 dun. I decided that I do in fact like this screen a little bit better, uh, I think. So what we're gonna do is exchange it all. Come back here, laboratory screens. Really? I don't have quite enough? Well, today I learned. Okay. Uh chisel it. Oop. And that should be cool. My goodness, that makes a mess. <laughs> I should be linking this to a remote chest or something. It's all good, though. It's all good. Uh, so you can chisel. And you can chisel. Wow, that's a lot more inventory space than I expected. You know what I need? I really need, like, you guys drop for, actually, you can just stay there. I'll be back in a sec. I need, like, an, uh, like a, like a white, 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 uh, bag, ender pouch type deal. Did we ever make one of these? We definitely didn't, because I don't remember hardened leather from Pam. Blah, blah, blah. That's... Do I need pressed wax from Pam's? Like, is that a need? Is that something I absolutely need to do to get hardened leather? I feel like that's not happening. All right, that might not happen. You know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get a crate. We're gonna have just a little bit of storage, but for now I wanna put away some stuff we don't need on us right this second, which is all these things. I don't even know why my Thaumonomicon's on me. Oh, that's right, I did some uh, little Thaumcrappy stuff a bit ago. You can go away. Look how much junk just accumulates in your inventory when you're not paying attention, right? Like, you don't need to be here. You don't need to be here. 
Okay. That's better. And let's get that crate. Just so I have a little bit of storage out there. I wouldn't mind a few more of these. Let's get like three more stacks. And the chisel. I'll bring the chisel. Cool. Back to the space station we go. So basically I want to make... Um, I wouldn't mind like a significant amount of mana glass, right? Because I think I want to be able to see how cool it is that we're in outer space, right? Like, so there's that. Like this platform should remain as kind of... Uh, and I might wind up moving these things, right? But this platform should probably remain as the... Like this is where the rocket ship lands, right? Because this is the this is the heart of the of the space station. It doesn't need to be the center, but this is where the rocket's always going to land when it comes back to a space station. So we want to be prepared for that, right? Um, so I'm thinking, like maybe we'll cut down some of this uh, and and kind of go from there. You can be converted into this thing as well, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, because, like, this could be, like, where we land our rocket, right? And then we could have some kind of door, like an airlock of, of, of some form. And then over here, we could have, like, you know, some cool stuff, right? So let's get our building gadget, and let's do a horizontal column. Uh, I'm thinking, like, let's center it on where the rocket lands. So that's basically here, right? And we can walk across there. And then here we'll have like a room that's gonna be horizontal wall. But I'd like you, let's make the floor a nine by nine. How big of an area, and I think I'm gonna need my hollow lens dude, but how big of an area does the warp drive use up? Um, because at the very least, we just want a warp core room, right? So let's get the hollow lens thingy. Uh, and then the warp core is going to be... Uh, it's not that much, right? Let's bring it outside where we have a larger area that we can just measure real quick. That doesn't look so bad. Why do I need 15 titanium blocks for that? I guess it is mostly largely titanium blocks. So that's actually not a lot of space that it uses up, right? Um, cool. So yeah, let's let's prepare a room for that. So we'll just do like a floor nine by nine, right? Standard standard dire build. Okay. So off of here, we'll do. A nine by nine building right um, now what I'd like is a vertical column of range does five look cool I think that should be cool or do we want six six up does that sound neat I think that could be cool And then build me. Okay. Um, and then I'd like probably more vertical, more glass than this, right? But we're going to do vertical column. See, I think that looks pretty cool. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different here. We're like, what's gonna be the door? So we'll come back to that idea and then give me a good old build to me. How am I for glass? I think we're pretty cool. What do you guys think of this design for this room? Spiffy? 
I think it looks nice. Now for this, I think we want to like frame the door. So do we want the door to be a three by three? We might. We might. We might want a three by three door. Does that look neat? I think it does. Right? Kinda cool. Not too bad, right? I just have to figure out what my airlock is gonna look like. Is there some kind of airlock door? So Advanced Rocketry has a small airlock door. Huh. We'll look into it. We could always use something like ineffable glass or something like that. That'll count, right? Um, do we have ineffable glass? We might. Ineffable glass needs a moonstone, which is lunar reactive dust. So I need basically two unstable ingots. So it's a diamond, a stick, and iron, right? So we're gonna want two of those, a couple sticks, and a couple diamonds, right? And then we're going to want 16 lapis. And we have to do this on a regular crafting table, as I recall. But this goes in here, it takes a minute, so let's make sure to speed that up. Because I'm impatient. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm a little bit impatient. Uh, I think a, a vanilla crafting table is required to do this craft. If I'm not mistaken. It's yield unstable ingot time. Right? Uh, so you, you, you should get me two unstable ingots, which only last for like a few seconds, right? Got it. Booyah! That was quick. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Uh, and then we can do... Uh, do we have thickened glass? I'm sure we can get some. Let's get two stacks of you dropped into the smelting factory. I don't know that you need to be um, in any way auto-crafted. Right? But this stuff should count as a block that will block air, right? So then we can build our door out of ineffable glass and that'll be cool, right? Does this look neat? Do you like do you like my little warp core room here? Right? And then we just place the warp core in the front in, in like the very center of the room and that looks nice, right? So uh Oh, you know what we need is some structure blocks, which I don't think we have. We needed four structure blocks, didn't we? Um, we skipped those in the in the make it step, right? So we have our warp core, we have our titanium, we have our blocks of gold. We need four structures and an input hatch. Um, what I think I'm going to do, input hatch, check, structure. Do we have to craft four structure blocks? We totally do. So let's craft a set of structure blocks and wrap up the episode here because we're well past the wrapping up point. So for now, Dowel Twice signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll come back next time. We'll build the warp core and then we'll warp to our first planet. Nice. I'm a little excited about that. All right, for now, Dowel Twice signing off. Uh, we'll get some oxygen and gravity on the space station perhaps next episode as well. Um, we'll see how that works out. But for now, take it easy.